All right, so let's go ahead and answer question six from the 2005 AP Calculus AB test, form B. And it says, consider the differential equation of dy dx equals negative xy squared all over 2. So for part A, or before we even start, we can go ahead and write our differential equation. It's negative xy squared over 2. And then it's saying that y is the particular solution to this differential equation with the initial condition of f of negative 1 equals 2. So now we can go ahead and move on to part a and it's just asking us to sketch a slope field for the given differential equation at these 12 points indicated. And I have the graph right here and we just need to we need to plot the slopes. So we need to find we need to use the values of x and y given in this plane and then find the slope. We have one, two, three, four values of x. So I'm going to use four tables. This takes a little while. x, y, and find the slope. All right, so we have negative 1, and it's from 0 to 2. So negative 1, 1, negative 1, 2. And then we have 0. Just plugging in all our values of x and y. And then we have 1. Use our values of y from 0 to 2. 1, 2. And then we have 2. So, we're going to plug in each of these values into our differential equation to find the slope. And whenever we do that, at negative 1, 0, 0 is our y, and that's in the numerator, so that's automatically going to be 0. So we know that whenever y equals 0, the slope is going to be 0. So we can do that there, there. And then also, since x is in the numerator, we can tell that whenever x is 0, the slope is going to be 0. So we can do that there and there. Now we just have six slots remaining. Negative 1, 1. Our slope is 1 half. Negative 1, 2 is 2. At 1, 1, it's a negative 1 half. And it's a negative 2 at 1, 2. Two, one, two, one, we have negative four, four, and negative, and negative four. four. And for that, I'm just plugging, plugging, plugging each value, value, value of our x, our x, and our pairs into the two y dx function. function. And for that, we can go ahead and start plotting the slopes. So negative one, zero. Our slope is zero. Zero, zero, zero. Zero, one, zero. Zero, two, zero. One, zero. 2, 0. And then for negative 1, 1, we have a positive slope. It's more shallow. And then our negative 1, 2 is a steeper positive slope. And then over here, our values of 1, whenever x is 1, we just have the reverse of our negative 1. So we have that. And the more steep. And then at 2, we have negative slopes as well. 2, 1, it's about like that. 2, 2, it's even more steep. All right, so that's how we sketch the slope field. And then we can go to move on to part B. Part B is saying write an equation for the line tangent to the graph of f at x equals negative 1. So, Let's write down what we're looking for. Tangent line equation at x equals negative 1. So for this, we can go ahead and put our template of our point slope formula. y minus y sub 1 equals our slope times x minus x sub 1. And for this, we already have our x. 
we just need to find our y and our slope at this given point. And initially, in the equation, it said that f of negative 1 equals 2. That's just a fancy way of saying that y equals 2. So we have y as well. dy dx, we're just going to plug in a, these values to find the slope. And if we go back to our tables and we go to negative 1, 2, we can see that the slope is 2. Didn't have to do too much work there. So we have y minus 2 equals 2 times x plus 1. And then if we go ahead and go to part C, part C is asking us to find the solution y equals f of x to the given differential equation with the initial condition of f of negative 1 equals 2. So we're going to have to find the particular equation at f equals negative 1, f of negative 1 equals 2, or negative 1, 2. For this, we have to put our equation of dy dx. So here, this was given in the problem. And now we're going to have to isolate the x and y. And to do that, we're just going to swap here. We have negative, don't swap there, swap there, dismiss that. So we have negative x over 2 dx equals dy over y squared. And then if we integrate both sides, we're going to have negative 1 over y equals negative 1 half times x squared over 2 plus c. And remember that we add the constant to x. Whenever the it's dy dx, we add it to x. And whenever we're at this point, we can go ahead and simplify. Let's just go up here. Negative 1 over y equals negative x squared over 4 plus c. And then we can go ahead and isolate y, so it's just y, not negative 1 over y. And for this, it's going to be y equals 1 over x squared over 4 minus c. So for this, this is the general equation, but we need to find the particular equation. And for that, we have to plug in our values of x and y. So y, which is 2, equals 1 over negative 1 squared over 4 minus c. 2 equals 1 over 1 fourth minus c. Then if we go ahead and multiply both sides by 1 fourth minus c, we're going to have 1 half minus 2c equals 1. 1 half equals 2c by adding 2c to both sides and then subtracting 1 from both sides. And then ultimately c is going to equal negative 1 fourth. So this is our c for the particular equation at f of negative 1 equals 2. And we can plug that into our general equation. y equals 1 over x squared over 4 plus 1 fourth. And then we're just going to simplify this so that it is 4 over x squared plus 1. And that's how we find the particular equation at these points. And that's how you answer question 6 from the 2005 AP Calculus AB test.